All right, guys. It's uh, what time did you say it was, Donnie? What? What time is it? Five after four. It's after four, and my man at 81 just put in a 10-hour day. Only if we needed something. No. Oh, I thought you were supposed to call... Stevie? Clarista. Uh, nope. Whoa. I could go check in if I want, but I don't really want to. So, but, yeah, so a little bit over 10 hours so far. Donnie's going to go cook an awesome, awesome meal. We're, neither one of us are hungry right now. We're so tired because it's been a little while since we did this type of work. But we know in about an hour or two hours, we're going to be starving, famished. We've got to refill them calories that we burned off all day today. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. They ate a peanut butter and jelly and a bag of chips, small bag of chips for lunch. So not much going in, but I feel great. And I'm uh, when you're active and doing stuff and, and you're happy building stuff or, or uh, seeing something done or, progr or seeing progress, I just don't think you need to eat. <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird thing <laughs> or eat as much. But my man, 81 years old, putting in 10 hour plus days over here. How do you feel, Donnie? I'm tired. Donnie's tired. He took a couple ibuprofen for his knees early, so that, that had me a little bit worried. But uh, he's going to cook, and being the young guy on the crew, it's my job to try to get everything prepped for tomorrow. Um, we're going to have to do the work no matter what. And I got a couple hours here before an hour before dinner. So I'm going to move a bunch of lumber off the top that we don't need. And then I cut, I got an idea on how to do the next project even faster. And I don't know if it's going to work or not. So I want to try it tonight. And then if it doesn't work, I can sleep on it and figure out how it's going to work. If it does work, then I'll sleep on it and be just as happy in the morning knowing that, uh, it'll save us a bunch of time and effort and energy. And um, yeah, so that's the story. Stay tuned, guys. We're gonna have an awesome dinner and I'm gonna move some lumber around. There's water dripping right off these logs. Oh yeah. These ones here, we got some beautiful 2x10s that are longer than 14 foot. They're like 16 footers, I think. Yeah, so we're going to use these for our rim joists. So these ones, I want to get somewhere special. I'll put these somewhere where I, I won't mess around. Mm. Let me figure this out. So this, if this one is, that one's squared yeah. and it's 12 foot, 12 foot? Yeah, 12 foot six. So that, I mean. So at, it's going to hang over two foot six. Right. So on one side of it, you could run them the full length, the strip. The other side, you're going to come back to no. this one. Yeah, but our, our width is going to be different, too. We're well, going to be the like... Width, the width... We're going to be 12 inches on on some of those. Well, it's just going to be on the opposite side yeah. of the line. You know, it's going to be on this side rather than this side over here. Right, but I'm saying some of the foam we're going to have to cut to 12 inches. Right. Some pieces in here. In, in there, in the middle. No, it shouldn't have to. Yeah. Well, that's right, when they overlap. Right. So, you know, maybe you want to make the overlap, might want to cut them back so you don't have so much overlap. 
I don't know if that makes any difference or not. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, cut them back. I yeah. mean, not so they'll overlap like a, at least a foot. So cut them all to 11. So this is. If I cut them to 11, would that be good? Yeah, 11 would be here, and 11 coming here would be here. Yeah. And then I could put on 10 foot strips. Yeah. Roughly. Roughly. Yeah. Then I could put on. You know, you might cut no, two nine. of them and just I set them put, on here, and then you can figure out. I could put on nine foot strips all day and not, never have a problem. Right. Eight foot eleven. Right. Nine foot. And I mean. I'll never have a problem. I mean, that's still going to hold the foam up, even if you don't get right out to the yeah. friggin' end. Right, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so 8, 11. So I'll cut all these at 11 foot. Yeah. Yep. That might make it easier. Yeah. How's that working out? Uh, it's good. I can't go nine foot on the in, on the short ones. I got to go because uh, we're hugging in four inches, so I got to take uh, four inches off on this. I think it's gonna work. Now, did you put your X's? You put your X's so if it, if this was a twenty footer, it would be on the same line, right? Yeah, one would be opposite the other. Right, one's on the opposite end, not on you the You put X. these on the X side of the line, yeah. this row, and on the X side of the here. And this, these coming this way, you put them on the opposite, opposite. side. Okay, yeah. Did I screw you up? No. Nope. Nope. Oh, you? I didn't know the pattern. It's no biggie. Learned it on the first one. Way better than. Yeah, see, I got an X here. Yeah. X there, but those all go on the X side. Yeah. These go on the X side and on the O side. Yeah. All right, what are we working on? Oh, I whipped up some sweet and sour chicken. Got peppers in it, onions, rice, sweet and sour sauce, chicken. With some biscuits on the side. Oh my god. You got creamed honey. Huh. Creamed honey. Right from Canada. Nice. Pure honey. Well. Oh, I am getting ready to put a hurting on that stuff. Tape measure. Tylenol. Ibuprofen. Batteries. The kitchen table's got pretty interesting, didn't it? Yeah. Got a... Assortment of stuff. Creamed honey. I've never quite seen it like this. Huh.
Really good. Huh. Looks like it. Well, thank you. This looks incredible. What a day. Yeah. A lot of messing around stuff. Yeah. He's getting things level. Yeah. Getting things level when you're this far off takes a while. It's the most important part of the whole building. Yeah. If you start out wrong, it's going to be wrong when you get to the end. Yeah. That damn transit really screwed us. That, Jesus, that was weird. Something's loose. Something going, yeah. That's too bad, too. Funny, it worked good in the morning. We hope so. We did have to recut a couple of those. But you put the level on any place there and it's wobble. Yeah, we're good now. Yeah. Oh boy, we got some work to do. <laughs> I feel good about it. You kind of got to figure it out how to do the strapping. Yeah. Yeah, the one side, I can just let it run by. It doesn't matter. Right. The other side, I got to keep it at 100 inches. Or less. Because the two get sandwiched together. Oh, yeah. On every, every single one. Ah. Huh. I think this is the fastest way to do it. I don't know. There's no fast way. Yeah, but we could put all the floor joists up with nothing on them. Yeah. <laughs> and have to go then back. Then you have to crawl over them. Yeah. And, yeah. And it, it, as you say, it's too high off the ground. Yep. Yeah. How many are there? 50 something? 56? Oh my God. Well, there's four done. Uh huh. There's four done. Why? Well, if I cut in the morning and bring them over to you and lay them across so you can staple on the... Would that work? Or do you have to have them... Anywhere it works. <coughs> you just got to cut them 11 foot, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I could staple them right over there before I put them in. Yeah. That'd be easy enough. Well, I'm going to hit the hay. It's quarter of seven. Jeez. Can you imagine going to bed at quarter of seven? No. You'll probably read a little bit. That, uh, but if I read, I'll be asleep in ten minutes. So. Perfect. Yeah. So, hey, so we'll see you guys in the morning. Perfect. Good morning. Day number two of construction. Yesterday was our first day. We really happy with what we got accomplished yesterday and made a pretty solid plan for today donnie's got the coffee ready i believe <laughs> hopefully i didn't make it as thick as i did yesterday yesterday you, know, you had to chew pretty, it it's pretty black it's still pretty black yeah well the stuff black. we're using is called black silk it's not just folders see that oh okay it isn't your fault no then. they put a they put magic markers, black magic markers in with it. Oh, okay. Yeah, to make it look darker than it than it really is. But we um we kind of jumped right into it this morning just to see if how we were going to cut the foam. And I think what we decided is since the table saw isn't wide enough to do 14 inch pieces, we're going to do it with the skill saw. And then there's going to be some custom pieces too because some of the lumber is going to be a little bit thicker and thinner. Um, just because the the way that mill cuts, the bottom cuts always a little bit off. So we, we, we try to get, we try to match it up, but it's awful hard to do. So we'll be cutting with a skill saw. We'll do probably half the foam and then, and then put, uh, put a bunch of the floor joists up and then stop and, and kind of reevaluate how we're doing everything and, and maybe do it the same way if it's, if it's the best possible way. But it rained really hard last night for about 15 minutes and a lot of people get upset at that but i was pretty happy because it showed me a problem that we had 
a potential problem that we could have had is the water was coming down off this hill here and it was kind of coming down right through there which is fine but it was meandering over here towards this post and the last thing i'd want is water constantly running <coughs> near or under one of my posts because then it could wash it out it could wash underneath it and it could you know tilt the angle of it and then throw off your whole floor system and or get frost under there and throw the whole building off so I was able to while I was standing up which is nice because if the joists were on I wouldn't have been able to do it standing up it would have been a nightmare but I was able to dig a nice little trench right here and the water's going to wash this and help me dig it too and that keeps it away from that post keeps it away from that post keeps it away from all the posts because you're not going to stop the water you know I could try to reroute it even higher and get it around the building but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that. It looks like I'd have to go uphill pretty hard with it. So you can't really go uphill with water. So so it's kind of good that it rained last night because it, it showed me a potential problem. And, you know, when you guys are doing your own projects, always be on the lookout for potential problems and what the future might hold. So that's what we got right there. We're going to have a, a ditch going through underneath the house, which is perfectly fine. No problem. But it's not going to be going near our posts. Let's go see how Donnie's feeling this morning after a solid ten and a half hour work day and then a couple of hours of cooking that on top of it <laughs> what do you think donnie how you feeling oh kind of groggy yeah i'm always kind of groggy in the morning doing all right oh yeah i'm doing fine nice yeah i am stiff today i could use about an hour of sunshine i think oh yeah we both could yeah oh my god nothing dried out yesterday no, it didn't dry out, and then that rain last night, it, it poured hard for about five minutes, and then it kind of drizzled for a while. Huh. But yeah. Stevie's coming in tomorrow morning, so we better get that wood stove set up tonight in here for him. Yeah. Well, if we can snap a line down the for the rim joist, yeah. then you can start nailing them. Sweet. Yeah, I'll pull those in a little bit that are there. You know where they join in the middle or lap by? Yep. I think I would nail from both sides. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Nails are cheap. Yeah. And that's, you know, a point that's got to be strong. Yeah. Because the outside, your rim joists is help, helping to carry everything. Yeah. Carry all the weight. <clears throat> all right, we're about to start hanging some floor joists. Pretty exciting. This is a big, big deal for us right here. I've done this with Donnie a handful of times. I love the way he does it. All right, look, Donnie, now that they're up, 13 three quarters is going to be tight. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Uh, but that one on your left hand is a little thicker. That was one of the thicker this ones. One? Yeah. That was like a bottom cut. Oh, okay. Let her go, let her go. Thank you. 
on your side. You just push the nozzle in, then pull the trigger. Where's the oh. knot? Where's the knot? Oh. It's going to be a tight fit on these. For a perfect fit. Perfect fit. And then that little bit at the end we could do at the end. Okay? Yeah. You good with that? Yeah. Nice. I like doing that ahead of time like that. Are you good with that? I mean, it's the easiest way, yeah. really. In the long run, it's going to be the quickest. Then this one's got just a shadow, you know, yeah. just a shade. And then that 12 inch piece. Yeah, I'll cut, is that 12? I'll give you a length on it. 20, 28 and an eighth. Is it 12? Oh, good. thank you. A little shy. Yeah, go 11 and 7 eighths. I don't know if I can be that accurate. Yeah. I'll well, try. 11 and 7 eighths by 28 and a quarter. You know what we could do with... She's fight, but she tits.
the shot pieces. Yep. Yeah, I've been using them. All right, we're good to go. Nice tight fit. Huh? Nice tight fit. Did you have 412 cut? No. At that 28 and a quarter? No. I still crown these even though there's Wayne on one side, not on the other, right? Yeah, you got to. Yeah. And we're just, we're going to go by crown. Yeah, this one's pretty easy. Yeah. Yep, that's true.
All right, guys, going pretty well this morning, as you can see. Uh, floor joists. It's a little bit of a slow process. I mean, we could be a lot faster, but we're not racing anybody. So um, to hold that blue board up, you can see I'm I'm nailing those strips in with a finish nailer, and that seems to be going the fastest to get the entire job done. I could I could run the joists real quick, and then come back and put strips in, and then cut the blue board, and then put the blue board in, but. That's a pain in the neck, especially if you got to jump over each one or you're walking on top of each one. I don't mind doing it all at once just like this and we're getting a nice, nice good fit out of it. So that's what it's looking like. Um, just had a, just had another fellow that owns a camp up the road, an old woodcutter stop in named Gordon and told us a little bit about the area. So, so I got I was able to get ahead of Donnie here. So Donnie's, Donnie's getting caught up. Too hard. That go in all right? Perfect. 
We don't need to tape these or anything, right? Huh? We're not taping these or anything, right? Taping them? The joints of the blue foot? No. No. This can's an abortion. I gotta run. There ain't no stopping it. Huh. That was our big can too. Oh yeah, God. You ahead of it? Weight off my knees. Yeah, what do you think about lunch? Yeah. Feels good to sit down. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be cutting studs for days. I think anytime I get a spare minute when I'm waiting for something down here, I'll just go cut studs. I got 15 done. Another 185 we got it. things up. Uh -uh. I love it. You know this is my favorite day I've ever had building. For real? Yeah. It's my suckiest day. <laughs> ever? Yeah. Oh no, you've had a lot of, you've had a lot of, <laughs> you've even had to tear stuff down that you've built before. Yeah. Oh no.
Jonesies, if they show up, they're going to check this all over. Oh, I forgot about that. I thought we were in the clear. They're going to they're gonna find something. I thought we were in the clear, Donnie. Jeez, I didn't even think of that. Fourteen seven and three quarters. That'll work. Really? If we can square them up with the least amount of with the least amount of weight. We're going that way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which way? I guess. <laughs> Wow, just a minute. Yep. Does it matter? No. I mean, it's pretty good both ways. Yeah, this was a good one. All right, we need this tool a little shorter, so we'll get a nice square cut on it. There you have it. This one's good? Yeah. Sitting down tight on that. Mm. Isn't that bow and that? No. Trouble is, I think they're all going to be 10 and a 16th. Huh? They're probably all going to be 10 and a 16th. Let me check that. Oh. oh, I thought you did already. Yep.
This one is heavy. We're in a rock pile here. Yeah. I think closest to you is probably up, right? Just a minute. You want to sight it? I'll like it set it. Say this is up. Yeah. She's looking. <laughs> huh? Pretty great. Pretty great, to be honest with you. I don't think I've ever seen one sit down as nice as that. Thing of beauty, Donnie. Thing of beauty is right. All right, we are feeling good, looking good. Sun's getting low. We got two more to do, and I think that we're going to call it a day after that, but I don't know. We'll see what Donnie wants You're to do. Damn right. <laughs> We're gonna eat peanut butter and jelly because I don't feel like cooking. No, and I can cook tonight too. I got burgers and dogs. How would you yeah, feel? How do you feel about that? Yeah, that's good. A couple burgers and dogs? Oh, uh, just a, a burger and I don't need the dogs. Just like that. Like this? Yeah. Yep. Wow, she heavy. Beautiful. I'm tight? Yeah. Nail it? Yeah. drawn in at the bottom. Is that in tight against you? That's all I got. Yeah. Last nail of the day, Donnie. What's that? Last nail. Hallelujah. Got her.
There, we just drove my last nail of the day. Absolutely phenomenal day. Big piles missing. Giant pile of lumber missing. I got uh, 10 and a half hours out of Donnie yesterday. And I do believe I got about 12, 12 and a half out of him today. I don't know how he does it. He's a machine. He's 81 years old. He hammers the ibuprofen around 7 yeah. or 8 a.m. Yeah. for his knees. <laughs> his knees bother. That's, that's the bad part. But um, as you can see, he don't slow down any. And I, I know you were pressing today, Donnie. I could see it about two hours ago. You were... Why to get this done? This you were going to make it to the finish line. Yeah. So we're super happy. Um, that's how we do it. You know, I know everybody does this, things a different way, but that's how Donnie taught me years ago, and that's the way I like to do it too. Well, we, we accomplished a lot today, <laughs> I think, for two people. <laughs> yeah. You know, using rough lumber isn't, you know, you have some imperfections, but, you know, because when you saw and you don't saw, you can't saw exactly the same thickness or, or width every time, but you, you try your best and we come out pretty good. So tomorrow we'll finish up these little pieces of insulation. Yep. And then put the uh, decking on at Vantech. And then we're going to be doing walls. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's going to be cutting two by fours for I days. will be. While you guys are doing the Advantech, I'll be doing. I'll be doing that. Yeah, I got 24 cut. That's it. Sorry, yeah. I couldn't get any more done, but. Oh, that's fine. It's 24 more we wouldn't have had. All right. It's funny um, now with the the battery powered electric tools, which can't say enough about oh we got two cans i just see another can of spray foam so we're golden oh good yeah but uh the funny thing is back when you used to build you'd run a generator with cords and everywhere right yeah all day and then shut it off at night yeah and we turn the generator on in the afternoon or at night to charge the batteries right we yeah. don't listen to it any other time of day yeah which is a good thing yep i mean we got enough batteries i don't even have to charge those tonight really? but you got that yeah wow. <laughs> but we went through you went through I at went least three. two with a saw yeah you went through three today yeah. the third one's in there yeah and i went through i burned up a five amp in the the nail gun in one nail gun yeah. that's it for me ah. so their batteries are pretty pretty good so is that to say by that, that uh, I probably did three times as much work. Exactly. As you did. Yeah, I only did one battery. You did a, <laughs> you did at least three times. Yeah, that's how we measure it by battery usage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm well, gonna put these tools away. Yeah. And call it a day. You can leave those right there if you want. You want? I mean, if it rains. Good enough. Well, we're going easy tonight, fellas. Hard day's work. Yeah, the cook didn't feel like cooking. He's rebelling. So, we got a different cook and it looks great. Be pretty easy meal tonight. We work way later than normal. Got a good 12 hours in. So we're having burgers tonight. Probably can only eat one of them burgers, but. Yeah, I know, it's big. I feel like having two on my plate. Give me something to think about. Well, we've got rid of one pile of lumber. That's a good feeling. It looks a little different than it was in the pile. Yeah. I suppose that mice miss us down there at that cabin? Well, I think they moved up here. We've seen one running around. <laughs> <coughs> Hasn't really stopped though, has he? He just keeps going back and forth. I know. He probably stops when we're not in here. Yeah. I might eat one more thing tonight, but it's not going to be that burger. Yeah, I should have said one burger. Be good in the morning or tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna cut some styrofoam. I think <coughs> if I can get a couple of them done. Oh, I am stoked with how much we got done, Donnie. It's a lot of work right there. Yeah. One day. Yeah. I don't care 
how young you are. Yeah. A lot of work. It looks like 44 Joyce or so. God, I never did count them up. I think it's about 44. We got Stevie coming in tomorrow, so we're pretty excited for that. He's going to really enjoy getting to do some framing and the building process here. He's not a very experienced builder, so... Well, he did build a chicken coop. Yeah, we did. He's yeah. eager. He's eager to learn. All right. Yeah. 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 Boy, this is the spot to build in, though. Not down in that hole. <laughs> imagine. I just can't imagine why... I suppose he won't be near the spring. Yeah. Uh... Well, it is still on a slope. They just dug it into a hole. Yeah. I mean, maybe the hole was there and they they filled the road, the driveway up. I don't know. Yeah. It's a terrible design anyway, but I guess it served the purpose for since the 50s. Yeah. So why should I complain about yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, and you're going to be looking for a couple good spruce trees for the, we need two cross ties. I haven't left the property yet. I know it. <coughs> We're going to have to knock off early and probably wouldn't be a good week to get them with the moose people around. Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to retire to my tent. Yeah, that was a hell of a day, Donnie. Hell of a day. Great work. I'm already excited for tomorrow. Only trouble is, all them 2x4s still need to be cut. Oh, that's no big deal. Yeah. I think we ought to build a jig for them right on this wood pile. I don't know. It's kind of high to wood. Well, I don't know. No, like, like if I could flatten this wood pile and build a jig. This would be so much quicker. Oh, it would be. You know, right here, about this height. Uh, Take him from behind you. 